Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Echoes. In the last episode, we defeated Slade, who, surprise, surprise, was here with Miller or Mueller. I don't know how you actually pronounce his name. I've heard it pronounced both ways, so we'll have to see. In this episode, we only have one obstacle standing between us and Rigel Castle. I think I said Zovia Castle in the last episode. Whoops. And that is Emperor Rudolph. Let's go get him. Attack on Regal Castle, 42nd of Wormstein, 401 VC. <sighs> then the fortress has fallen. It has, Your Excellency. I fear it's a matter of minutes until the Deliverance reaches the castle doors. Very well. We shall greet them with a sea of blades. I leave the rest to you, Messena. As your will commands, Your Excellency. Now go. Your Excellency, wait! Burkut. Sire, why have you not given me leave to join the front lines? I know I failed you at the border, but all the more reason I beg for this chance! A merciful leader may grant a second chance. Only a fool allows a third. Your Excellency! My army has no place for the weak. You'll remain here and watch in quiet. No. Please. Have mercy, sire. Your Excellency! Uncle! Oof. Burkut's definitely got the raw end of the deal here. We got 20 units to work with here, all lined up at the front lines there. Including... Emperor Rudolph himself. He's wielding an angel ring that increases his luck by 20, meaning that his he's gonna be a little bit difficult to go against, considering that uh, he'll be able to crit a lot easier. However, considering where he's standing, I might be able to just take him down from a distance <laughs> with Delphia again. Does he have any ranged weaponry? No, he doesn't. The only thing that's ranged around here are these guys. Hold on, how far away is he? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's just one too many. If I had a three-ranged uh, spell, then I'd be able to do something with Delthea. Well, unless I gave the Mage Ring to Luthier. Uh, there's another unit, right? Masena or something like that? It's mostly Gold Knights and uh, Bow Knights around here. And they're all up on the ramparts. I can only assume that once I enter the courtyard, more units will spawn. That's just an assumption, though, because there's a lot of empty space around here. Or once the even once the battle begins. Uh, however, if I want if I want to start t p like picking things off and just get to Emperor Rudolph, then I could just have Python. Yeah, you know what? I know, like I usually organize the troops off screen, but this is such a momentous battle that I kind of want to do this. I'm just gonna have Python start picking off these guys from out here. Oh, it's so... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so cheap, but it's effective, so... I might as well give it a shot. Plus, well, Emperor Rudolph's got a lot of defense, so... I don't think the bow's gonna be doing much. it would be about two damage per hit. And, and he's most likely gonna move over to the supplies once he's taken a lot of damage. Uh, aside from that, though... We pretty much know where we're standing in terms of these guys. Uh... Oh, what? what? Uh, no, she's she's sort of at the front lines. Good. I, that's where, that's exactly where I want Delthea. These guys have anti-flyer? They do. What other abilities do these guys have? Uh, heavily armored. He's got recovery, so every turn he's uh, gaining back five health. He doesn't seem to have any other abilities, though, which is a little bit weird for something that'd be... Well, since I know my Fire Emblem games, I know that that's not the final boss, but he doesn't have any abilities. Probably more so on hardened and, uh, and insane difficulty. Anyway. Put up a save file, and then we're gonna begin. Fight! Brave warriors of Rigel, you have fought with courage and skill at my side these long years. But the hour of reckoning is upon us. Our empire's light is guttering. Now heed my words well. If I should fall, my final order is that you lay down your arms and surrender. I hear the young Zophian general is a man of mercy. 
If you have any love and loyalty for me, you'll not waste your lives this day. <sighs> That's Emperor Rudolph. This is strange. I'm not sure what I'm feeling at the moment. He's caused so much suffering, and I know I should hate him, but I can't. Instead, he just feels... I don't know. Familiar somehow? Ohm! Snap out of it, will ya? There's no time for daydreaming. We're at Regal Castle's doorstep, buddy. We need you focused. Now pull yourself together already. We didn't come this far to lose here. Uh, right. Sorry, Gray. All right, everyone. Let's do this! You could not have ham-fisted that anymore! Oh, what is this? This music, though. Let's go ahead and start- I'm gonna start picking off the people up here. This- this would be the, uh, I guess this is what they're- Oh, Jesus! Well, I was expecting to have to put a mage up at the front there to take that out, but... Good job, Python, you did it. Uh, gonna start moving people this way. I'm gonna move Delphia over here. They all have anti-flyer, so... Claire, I'm sorry, you're kind of worthless this battle. Everyone, whoop, everyone else is. G I'm gonna have to start moving into the uh, the courtyard there. Starting off with Forsyth and Lucas. Uh, also Zeke because he's got a lot of uh, a lot of defense to him. So let's see. These guys are casting death. So yeah, I'm gonna want Python to take them out as quickly as possible. And since there was a, a guy in a cutscene that we haven't seen yet, like I said before, I'm assuming that once we move into the courtyard, things are really gonna start getting things are gonna start getting real. Moving them over might be a good idea as well. Nothing will stop me. Okay. Allow me. Let's move Clive. I have not used Clive at all because... What level is he? He's only level 5, but still, he's... <laughs> also, well, he, also, he's an upgraded unit. He's just god-awful. Put everyone up on the border here. Oh, I know what I want to do with Delphia. Alright, back here. Leave this to me. Up here. And I guess it's gonna be it for that. They're gonna move over and start attacking Zeke. Ooh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Ooh, all those other units are on the move. And they're only they're, it's only, not gonna take them too many turns to get here. I can get that guy. Enclosure, that'll only deal. Okay, better off if I do this. I'm next to my allies, so I gain strength! One! Yeah, not getting as lucky this time with the crits. Where is he in relation to... One, two, he's only two away? I'm gonna have Luthier come over this way and just attack him! Excalibur... Under... And Excalibur's probably gonna be the best one for this. Meanwhile... Oh, they all ran that way! Well... There goes my my Delthea strategy. Uh Luthia, if you would mind. Uh I'm gonna go with Excalibur just because it's it's 100 percent accurate here. I was hoping he'd be able to crit, but apparently I hoped a little bit too much for that. Not even a challenge. Wow. <laughs> I might some of my units might be a little underleveled for this area. My mind has been cleared. I find it funny that his character trait is that he only knows how to do magic. What can attack him? Not him. Not him. Ah, if you were to come back, he can attack him. Well, it's a good thing I got healers and plenty of them. Also, unfortunately, I'm only... <laughs> I'm healing you through the door! Can you see it? Do they have any more? No, it's all heavy defense units over there. If he was just one step out, I'd be able to get him. Oh well. Uh, I might be able to lure him with something else. 
Like Claire, for example. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. I could just beat him up now. What's the defeat the commander is the is the only uh the only requirement for this. I could probably make this into a pretty quick kill. Okay. Oh, actually. Well, their range isn't that great, so yeah. Let's see, I just wanna check her defenses. 11, and her speed is 18, versus 28 and 22, oh my god. So she would take 26 damage from all that. Assuming he doesn't crit. Uh, but yeah, if I can set up here, then I can take him down pretty easily. Wow, that, this is going to be a very anticlimactic battle. And Alm will never will not be able to will not get to see like any of it. Uh I'm gonna move Faye up and use Physic on Luthier just to be on the safe side. Invigorating. I'm gonna move Forsyth and Zeke up as well. Because once these enemies start getting closer, then it's going to be a little bit harder to sort of hold them all back. I can hold them off to single file, but there are a lot of bow knights. Well, three. Four, five. There are five bow knights. All right. Um, what's her range? One, two, three, four. That should be enough. To, that should be close enough to hit him. All right. Let's see how this goes. That bow knight's going to come back there and go, start going after Luthier. There we go. Ugh, 17! I miscalculated that by one. All right. Can I kill him in one go? Nope, not even close, because his speed is so damn high. Well, if I do that, he's just going to end up running back to the, to the uh, supplies. Unless... <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> what a cheap tactic I'm doing here. And now he's stuck there. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, he's stuck there. Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done! I could actually I could use Ragnarok on him too. Alright, first off, first and foremost, I want to get Luthier out of there. And go ahead and recover her. Just for the sake of recovering her. Thank you. <laughs> I made this the shortest battle ever. Maybe I should have played this on a harder difficulty. I'm gonna move him back. I'm gonna move her back and then use Physic on Zeke. I need to get uh, Claire out of there. Like, real fast. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want them to be attacking me in a field. Actually, no, that's fine. In fact, I can move uh, Foresight up a little bit. And wait. All right, Black Magic, Ragnarok. Let's do it. Good Lord. I accidentally I have accidentally made this the easiest battle. Oh, I can't. Oh, I was hoping I can get him from there. That would have been funny. I can get him with Seraphim. They'll leave him at one, damn it! Oh, but he can't move anyway, so it doesn't matter. But still, oh, man. Actually, I do kind of have an idea of what I can do here. That would be pretty funny for finishing him off. All right, since no one else can really do anything else, let's go ahead and end. I can't believe I lured him. Oh, never mind. Oh, shoot. Oh boy, this is going to be rough. They're all going for him. Fortunately, Forsyth can hold his own. Ugh. Yeah, they're piling up right there. <laughs> I beat him without en I'm gonna beat him without entering the castle. Oh, how cheap can you get? White magic. Uh, not rescue physic just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna use physic on uh, on Zeke. 
Just to make sure nothing awful happens to him. White magic, physic. Because he, he's going to be taking a beating from archers all over the place. Up, down, and all around. Up and down and all around. Alright, don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> Let's finish him off with the subpar Ragnarok spell. Good lord. This is as it should be. Got an angel ring. Gonna keep the mage ring on her. We did it. We have beaten Emperor Rudolph and saved all of Valentia. You've done well. I'm proud of you, my son. What? I knew I was right to entrust you to my dearest friend. Your friend? You mean my son? What's going on here? What are you saying? I thought you'd have realized by now your true name. Your true name is Albine Om Rudolph. You are my one and only son. I... What? That can't be true. You're lying. Why should I believe a word you say? <coughs> be still, Om. I haven't time left to explain. But I beg you to grant me one final favor. You want a favor from me? Take the divine fortune that sealed Miller's strength. Duma has become a thing of mindless evil. Use the blade and destroy him. Please, my son, you must. No, wait! Emperor Rudolph! Were you truly my father? Then I've just... Oh, God! What have I done? Stop! Please, no more! Um, how has it come to this? The boy will come to slay Lord Duma ere long. A fool's errand, I fear, without fortune. Om is coming here? Please, you mustn't hurt him! My soul alone is all you need, yes? Oh? Then you will offer up your soul to Lord Duma willingly? I will. If it saves Om, I will surrender my soul gladly. <laughs> As you wish, Your Highness. Now, come with me. But you got an award! Armistice! Awarded for bringing the war with Regalian Empire to an end. But, we're not quite done here. We can still head in to Regal Castle. Let's talk to Python! Tired yet, Chief? Now we're taking on Regal? You work oddly hard for someone your age. Still, defeat the Emperor and the Empire will be yours, yeah? Well, better you than me. I don't want to be responsible for anyone but yours truly. Uh-oh, you look like you're gonna ask a tough question. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, I guess I'd lead the damn country if I had to. I just don't want to have to. I'm diligent, not masochistic. Look, put it this way. I know my limits, and I respect them. <laughs> Wouldn't want to disappoint anyone, right? But that's when you gotta learn to push beyond your limits! Uh, long live His Excellency Rudolph II! <laughs> They're so confused. Welcome home, Prince Albine. <laughs> They're so panicked. That's really funny. The Central Hall! Welcome home, Prince Albine. I am Masena, captain of Emperor Rudolph's Imperial Guard. 
His Excellency told me everything before facing you in battle. Afterward, I gathered the remnants of his forces and awaited your arrival. He told you everything? Are you telling me he knew he was going to lose? That he expected to die by his own son's hand? I am afraid I cannot speak to His Excellency's intentions. I humbly ask that you visit the throne and listen to what Sir Mycin has to say. Mycin is here? Oh, snap! I was present when Emperor Rudolph marched on the Temple of Mila. I know the blade he used to seal her power away, the Divine Falchion, had long been housed in the treasure vaults beneath Duma Tower. Though I fear I do not know what became of it after. Hmm. Please, my prince, visit the throne and hear what Sir Mycin has to say. Well, hang on, there's some stuff to look around here for. Look! Look, there's a steel lance. I'm going to steal that steel lance. There's a bow here. There's a steel bow. I'm going to steal that steel bow. Are there any classes in this game that can actually use axes? I'm stealing swords. I'm stealing bows. I'm stealing all that jazz. All right, let's head to the throne room and hear what Sir Mycin has to say to us. There he is. The th let's, let's look at the throne first. It's a nice throne. Really nice. I mean, most thrones are, but still. I guess it's nicer than average. I, like, I feel like this is a point where he should be regaling his banners adorn the hall. Uh, I feel like he should be a little bit more, like, somber in his observations. Like, it's a nice throne, but let's talk to Mycin. So you've come, Mom. Grandfather, what the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Rudolph said I was his son, and now all these people are calling me a prince. It's only natural that you're feeling confused, but there is no denying fact. You are the only son of Emperor Rudolph, scion of the Regellian Imperial bloodline, and true heir to Regel's throne. How could you? You knew all this time, and yet you kept it from me. You knew, and you still sent me off to kill my own father! Please remain calm, Om. Let me explain. Best I start at the very beginning. As you well know, Valentia has always been divided north from south, split between the two gods, Mila and Duma. But their involvement with mankind eventually grew too deep. When madness takes a god, man is lost. And where gods meet ruin, men die too. That is the plight Valentia now faces. You're saying the gods are... Dying? I fear so. Rudolph was among the first to understand the signs. He saw Duma's growing madness and knew it for a harbinger of ruin. But then you were born home. What does that have to do with any of this? You bore the brand. Sign of the hero who would rise to save Valentia. Hearing that prophecy, Rudolph knew you must be kept hidden from the faithful. He concealed the news of your birth and entrusted you to me and Sophia. I will never forget the pain on his face when he placed you in my arms. <sighs> that day marked a change in him. He donned the mantle of one who would destroy the old world order. One who'd free men to live by their own power, even if they hated him for it. He knew such heresy would bring forth those who wished for his death. So for that death to come at the hand of his beloved son was a mercy. He told me himself that he could imagine no more peaceful end. And what of my peace? This is not the time for mourning or self-pity, boy. Rudolph's purpose now falls to you. The true foe you must defeat is Duma as well as the zealots tainted by his madness, who seek control of Valentia. Jeddah and his Duma faithful. If you do not hurry, Selica's life will also be in peril. Oh God, Selica! She set out in search of Duma in order to save Mila. A passage beneath this castle leads to the Temple of Duma. Go on, go and finish this. 
Return the mad god Duma to the darkness from whence he came. Myson has joined you. His whole story was a lie. Alm's youth, his days of training with Myson, all were but calculations in a far-reaching plot by his lord father, Emperor Rudolf. Alm had taken his father's life, and that sadness would stay with him always. But destiny would not permit this son of the brand to simply walk away. Valentia lay yet in the grip of Duma, the wicked god, the war father, as well as Alm's dear Selica, who would become Duma's willing servant.